Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Grow Room. Today we're doing another experiment, this time with two different seed starting mixes. I have the Organic Jiffy Mix, which is my favorite brand of seed starting mixes, and I know a lot of people out there really love this brand. And I've also got Dirt Martini, which says it's a potting soil, but I did ask and they said you could use it as a seed starting mix as well. And I did get this sample from Dirt Martini, so I'd like to thank them for that. And let's take a look at the ingredients of this one. So it has organic, and it is organic ingredients, so that's important, at least for my garden. It's got peat moss, cocoa coir, perlite, OMRI lime, bat guano, vermiculite, neem cake, earthworm castings, kelp meal, molasses powder, azomite, OMRI magnesium sulfate, mycorrhizae, trichoderma, bacillus amyloquafaceans, and willow bark. And then if we look at the Jiffy Mix, there's a lot fewer ingredients. It's just got the sphagnum, peat moss, vermiculite, coir pith, and lime for pH adjuster. So I'm going to be starting some tomato and tomatillo seeds in each of these. We have Aroma, Brad's Atomic Grape, Silvery Fir Tree, San Marzano, Purple de Milpa Tomatillo, and Lime Green Salad Tomato. And these were all from seed swaps that I did over the last couple years, except Brad's Atomic Grape, that one I did buy from wild boar farms and we'll get those put into these six packs here I'm gonna put about three seeds in each six pack or in each cell of the six pack let's take a look at each of these mixes so Jiffy one of the reasons I really like this one is it's it's very fine there's not a lot of large particles in there and it's it's very dry. And then if we look at the Dirt Martini, it's also pretty fluffy. I mean, this is really fluffy compared to other potting mixes. So it's more like a seed starting mix. It's pretty comparable to Jiffy, I think. Um, but yeah, it feels very similar. It's also a very dry mix. So we need to add some water to both of these to moisten it up before we get our seeds in. I like using these leftover salad containers. These were from Costco, but they also have them at other grocery stores. So there's the top. So let's take a look at the texture now that it's moistened. So I usually add enough water just so the, the soil holds together but isn't dripping, dripping wet. So that looks pretty good here. And also the same for, for this one. You can see this mix is a little bit darker than the, the Jiffy. Let's go ahead and get these put into our six packs. I like to plant my tomatoes fairly deep, about an inch or so, and I use a pencil to make the holes. And I'm gonna be putting three seeds in each cell. Now the tomatillo seeds are much smaller, so I'm going to be planting more than three, and I'll show you those guys. So I'm not going to plant these as deep, they take a little bit longer to germinate, so I'm just going to put a couple on top. And I'll just add a little soil to the top. Since this is dry soil, I'm going to be wetting this down. And I'm going to be putting a heat mat 
underneath these to keep them nice and warm. I'm gonna cover these with the dome to keep the moisture in. And also cover with the light blanket that will help keep the moisture and the warmth in. And we'll check back. They should start germinating in about four days. It's been 10 days since I started the seeds in the seed starting mix and potting soil. And you can see there's a few things that haven't germinated yet. I have these Aero Garden domes over those and that's the purple tomatillo and as well the lime green salad tomato also hasn't come up yet. And at 10 days I would expect these to be up by now so I'm not sure um, if they're going to germinate or not so I'm going to keep an eye on those for a few more days um, and see what happens. So I'm a little disappointed the purple tomatillo hasn't come up yet because I was really looking forward to that one. Um, but you can see here there is a little bit of growth difference. Maybe you can't tell from this angle, but let's see if you can tell from here. The ones on the front are a little bit taller. Those are the ones that were from the the Jiffy seed starting mix and the ones in the back are from the spiked soil potting mix. So they're still looking pretty good. They're just not as tall as the ones in the front. So they're not as leggy, which I guess could be a, a good thing. So I'll, I'll check back again in a little while once the primary leaves come out and see how they compare. It's been about three weeks now since I started these tomatoes and the size difference isn't really that noticeable. Um, they are about the same size. However, I have noticed that those started in the spiked soil potting mix are a little bit more brighter green than the ones started in the Jiffy. The Jiffy ones, the, the green is a little bit more of a bluish color, and I think the, the other side of the leaves are more purple. There is some purpling on the other ones as well, but it's more like a pink. Um, but it's the other ones are definitely a darker purple. And I haven't put any kind of fertilizer on these yet, so they're actually really overdue for getting a good fertilizer. So I'm going to be repotting these into some potting mix, and hopefully the, the purplish color on the backs of the leaves will, will go away after they get some nutrients. But the results here, I think, um, is that the spike soil actually does make a good seed starting mix. Um, normally potting mixes don't, don't do well for seed starting, but this one seems to do just fine. So it's a, a good choice if you're looking for a seed starting mix and potting mix in one. Thanks for watching and I'll give you some more updates again on these tomatoes soon.